not a last minute planning type of person. This brings me back. It's really hard for me to find a pair of shorts that fits the waist. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Lauren if you're new Today we were originally planning to go to the beach, but the weather is really bad outside today and tomorrow So it's like really no point to go So we last minute made a change of plans to go to Tampa and I'm not a last minute plan type of person I like to have a plan multiple days in advance. So my hair is natural today. We're just rocking it because like, we were supposed to go to the beach. So I was like, I'm not going to do my hair to go to the beach. So we're going to go have lunch in Tampa. And Tampa's like about two hours from Orlando. So it's not too bad of a drive. And then I think we're going to spend some time also at the Hard Rock Casino, which will be fun. I haven't really been to a casino in a while. So it'll be fun to... I personally probably won't play anything, but maybe everyone else will and i'll just watch but yes yeah, so that's the plan for today okay we just arrived just parked here we are i don't know if i can walk yeah i can walk through there never been here before so i'm excited guys it's the next day it's around it's like later in the day I've been editing my unedited day in my life all morning I know I'm not really editing it but I don't know why it took me so long to make a thumbnail for it but I was like trying to figure out some good images to pull from the clips and it just took a little bit longer and then I didn't even start editing the video so I had to upload the footage and all that stuff and then I was linking stuff. And then I, of course, watched it. And it's like around 30 minutes, so that takes up some time too. And I was like getting emotional, if you saw it, I was getting emotional watching it again. Yeah, so it's just like really emotional. If you didn't watch it, um, go watch it because I'm not gonna talk about it and it's gonna make me just upset. It was really fun. It was challenging, but it was fun because <laughs> I couldn't edit any clips out, so. It was fun and it was like on the easier side to edit because I didn't have to 
like, go through it or cut anything out because those are the rules. But um, yeah, so hopefully it finishes uploading soon and then I can post it. So I'm really excited because I posted um, a video trying like Dunkin' Donuts uh, butter pecan um, flavoring in their coffee and I said that it tastes like the discontinued toffee nut creamer or flavoring syrup, yeah, syrup from Starbucks and so many people said it's not discontinued. So I'm going there now to get my fix on it and get the toffee nut flavoring in a coffee. I'm excited. And then I'm going to another Play-Doh's closet. I took clothes last weekend to get, to sell them, I guess, to Play-Doh's closet and they didn't take anything. I don't know if it's because there's a lot of winter stuff in here too, but I'm gonna try a different Play-Doh's closet in a different area and maybe they'll take some more stuff but if anything i'll just donate the rest of it we'll see so i'm gonna go to starbucks um then i'll go to plato's closet and then i'll probably come back home and go to Publix later today i don't really think i'm gonna get anything but this is my last full week of work coming up and then um not like last forever but like last full week of work before i go to the bahamas if you missed my last uh it was two videos ago where i like talked about going to the bahamas i'm going on a trip at the end of July. I'm so excited and I only have to get through one full week of work and then two days of work in the next week and then I am off for a week and I'm so excited. So I just have some upcoming trips to look forward to which I'm just really excited and grateful for and all that good stuff. So let's do this. I'm so excited to get the coffee and we'll see about this. But other than that, I haven't really done much today. You know, it's just, I'm like really tired. <laughs> That's why this afternoon pick me up is super, super needed. Can I get started for you today? Hi, can I do a grande cold brew with almond milk and um, toffee nut? With almond milk and toffee nut, anything else though? Um, no, that will be it. Okay, we're 74, please. Yeah, thank you. They had it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm freaking out so much, but they had it. Okay, I went through the drive-thru first and I pulled away and I tried it and I know that there wasn't any toffee nut in it because I know what coffee tastes like with just almond milk and it literally didn't have any toffee nut flavor. And I was like, am I tasting this wrong? Like, am I just thinking there's no toffee nut in it? And I was like, no, there's no way. There's no toffee nut in it. And so I went through again and I, I feel really bad going through the drive through again and being like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, I really just don't think that there's toffee nut in here. Um, so they remade it and they gave me a venti, which I did not need a venti cold brew, but it has toffee nut in it. And it tastes so good. This was my drink. This was my drink. This reminds me of like 2019. Every morning that I stayed the night at Christian's house, I would come to the Starbucks and I would get, depending on the weather outside, either a hot or cold coffee with a splash of almond milk and a few pumps of toffee nut. And it brings me back to that time. I love when certain food items or drinks or certain things like that bring you back to like a certain part of your life. And it's like a memory. This brings me back. Mm. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go to Plato's closet now and try and get rid of these clothes and then donate the rest. Okay, I just got home from running my errands and I just opened up a package from Revolve and I got a pair of Levi shorts and they're so good. They're a little bit longer, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to not have my butt hanging out of them and just wanted them a little bit longer and they fit so nicely no gapping at the waist which is so hard for me to find in a pair of shorts i'm very i don't know how to describe my body type i like to say i'm kind of 
on the boxier side. Um, I have a muscular build. It's really hard for me to find a pair of shorts that fits the waist, is long enough, and is also loose enough on the legs. And these are called the ribcage shorts and they're the Levi brand, like I mentioned. Here, let me walk in my closet. I originally bought these, they're the same ribcage shorts. I got them in a size 25. So this one's a little bit darker. I got these off of Lulu's, but I think they have them on Revolve because I originally was gonna buy this color on Revolve and they didn't have my size. So I saw that Lulu's had them. So I bought them from there, and then when they came in, I realized they fit so good that I needed them in another wash. So I went on Revolve and ordered this wash, and they're just really good. I will link them down below. I'll link this pair that I got off of Lulu's down below, and then I got these um, off of Revolve. So I'll link them, but really good pair of shorts that actually just like fit. If you're still into high-waisted like I am, I don't really love low-rise, I'll link them, they're so good. Mm -hmm. 